What's up, y'all? Uh, so, first of all, real quick, pardon the sound on this thing. Um, I'm not in my normal location. I had to run to Mississippi to be with my people. So, I ain't in my Texas location. So, if this sounds funny, I apologize. We'll be back to regular uh, to regular technology next week. And um, in terms of why there haven't been post-game shows, why there haven't been morning afters, I just said it. <laughs> I'm in Mississippi with my people, and I'm not at the compound, so I appreciate y'all patience, though. Um, finally got a chance to look at some film, though, and I'll be dropping the regular videos this week. They'll sound terrible, but I'll be dropping them. But I finally got a chance to look at some film, and I just wanted to answer questions. You know what I mean? I just wanted to um, the same the same thing like I did last week. Uh, you know, when we have losses, people have questions, and I just wanted to answer some of the ones that I've been seeing on. Um, on social media. Now, I'm not going to argue anymore, but I will present the points uh, that I think oppose some of those views on the internet. So let's get into it. So I wanted to take a look at the offense to answer a few questions like I did last week. Uh, you know, when, when you lose, there are, there are, there are plenty of questions being asked. Uh, you know, should we fire the coaches? Was there something wrong with the, with the game plan? Da, da, da. What happened, right? I don't think this was a game plan problem at all because if you watch the game and that's why you 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 don't fuss with people that you know that have only watched the game one time cuz I've watched film twice right now and I'll probably get two more in. I watched film twice and I still haven't seen everything I need to see, you know what I mean? So don't fuss with with those people. But in terms of did the ball move? The ball absolutely moved. So what I'm going to show you on this video today, I want to show you every time I want to show you every time we we crossed the 50, we were at the 50 or crossed it, putting us in the, into into Green Bay territory. Then I want to show the play uh, that caused us to not score or the drive killer, the end of the drive. Okay, um, so that was a Zeke run. <clears throat> Uh, Zeke, and 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 on this film session, I'm not gonna get directly into the the super breakdown of the play. I just want to talk about what happened. How did we get there, and what happened once we uh once we got there? I'll probably look at the offensive line a little bit later. Um, but this is us getting into Green Bay territory. The problem is that once we get there, uh, we have this Amari Cooper drop that turns in, into an interception. Now, if Amari Cooper don't don't drop this ball, and look, to be fair, you could put some of this on on Dak too. If if the ball was a little better, maybe it would have been caught. But it hit Cooper in the hand, so if Coop doesn't drop it, then we're sitting right on the twenty one, right on the twenty yard line or so, right? So that just gives you a better. It gives you a better chance to score. Whether you get in the end zone or whether you whether you kick for three, it gives you a better chance. And we ain't even saying kicks are automatic, you know, because of my hurt or whatever. But I don't even want to blame it on him neither. If we execute on offense, this thing it it doesn't even get to my hurt. If we execute on offense, it doesn't get to uh the referees or whatever. You know what I mean? If we if we make this catch, we good to go. It it proved that we can move. Like Coop beat the shit out of, of um, Jair Alexander, and I'll be dropping that film later. Um, we just got to finish, but let's keep watching. The Amari Cooper film session is going to be coming later this week, so don't worry about it. But he's going to be a super villain here, beating up on Jair Alexander. That's okay. But big plays, right? We're able to run big plays. We're able to take care of the small plays, right? We got into the 50. And then once we get here, right? Um, and just in case y'all don't know how we how we do over here, I don't care about who's right or wrong. I don't want to get into told you so culture. I don't want to get into um, into a take a L culture. I don't want to just point out people individually for having faith in Cam Fleming. That just that's just not how I you know how I choose to operate. Um, I, you know I just didn't have a positive opinion of Cam Fleming. Um, people would fuss and and you know fuss and holler with me. You know when I wanted to draft offensive line, I wanted to draft starters. I wanted to draft. Uh, death guys, you know what I mean? Just so we can have those guys. But this is third and seven here, and this is considered a drive killer when I see how terrible Cam uh, Cam Fleming plays. And this wasn't his first bad play. He was he was pretty bad all day. But uh, you 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 get a sack right here, and I think we're out of, we're out of field goal range right here. So that's was this was the uh, drive killer for the second drive. But this is uh, two drives that were inside of Green Bay's territory. Seems like every time we pass the 50, it's Coop being a terrorist. So let's take a look at him down bottom. Um, he's going to get the big play. And like I said, man, the offense, the big plays were there. The movement was there inside the 50. Get the catch. Good job, Coop. But then we have the Dak Prescott interception, and the read was right here. 
the read was here. Dak kind of had the right idea, kind of, sort of, but he was a step late and he was a step wrong. Um, we're reading uh, Zeke to, and I have a hard time saying whether 18 or 19 because, you know, it's it's Cobb or or Cooper, you know. you know. So, pardon me for not being able to see, but 18 looks just like 19 this this far away. But um, the read, let me scoot a little bit more. The, the, uh, the read is 21 to, let's say it's Cooper, uh, 21 to 19, and we're reading this guy here. We want to see if he plays down on, on Zeke to throw the ball over his head to get to Coop. Uh, we also want to see if he plays deep on Cooper, then we could just dump the ball off to Zeke to be fine. Now, we had a little bit of pressure in the pocket. Cam Fleming down there getting whooped. You see him. Um, I don't necessarily want to make that. An, I don't want to make that an excuse because the read should be read by now, um, and it is. But we chose to uh, throw the ball to Amari Cooper. It's a little bit late. It's a little bit late. It's a little bit behind, and it's the wrong guy. Throw that thing to Zeke and let him fly there. Um, but uh, but Dak but Dak talked about it in the uh, post game press conference or whatever. He said that I should have uh, dumped that thing off. Uh, to Zeke and not try to you know you know fit it in the coop or whatever. But hey man, you know you know um you know some people want us to be a more vertical offense, to be a more risk taking offense. To uh you know I I even see some some people say hey man let's just throw it throw it deep anyway and see what happens. You know that's not the best offensive offensive um philosophy because you don't want to throw the ball to the other team and you don't want to waste drive. So uh, sometimes the the dump off most of the time. The dump off is absolutely the play to go, but that's where this drives in. This is our third time inside of Green Bay territory. So it's third and four, and the ball is on the fifty, according to the scoreboard. There, um, well, we're 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 a little bit, you know, behind the fifty or whatever. But anyway, um, ball at or around the fifty, um, third down, and we take another sack right here. This is not only Cam Fleming got beat there, but let's. Uh, can I get cartel view? Did I record that? Yeah. Um, yeah, Lael got beat, but I don't even want to hate on Lael though, because Lael been having a been having a good year. For some reason, people on Twitter think I just want to hate on Lael. Like, nah. <laughs> but uh, Lael and Cam uh, gave up the work there, so uh, so that's that's the the drive killer for this drive. So I lost count. What's that? Four, five? That's five times we were um, we were um, at Green Bay territory at the fifty or or more or whatever, and we just couldn't finish it or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, that's that. And and that that turned into a punt. So Green Bay gets the ball back. We crossed the fifty with Cooper again. Cooper had like two hundred some yards, man, which is ridiculous. Beat the shit out of Yari Alexander. But we'll we'll cross that road on another film set to tell you how he did it. But uh, this is us crossing. Hey, look, look boy, Yair. <laughs> Yair is 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 angry, man. He is mad at Coop. Um, but hey, man, they won the game, so that don't matter. Uh, within the 50, like we actually get there, then we have a three and out past that, then we have a Maher miss. So yeah, that's what happened there. Michael Gallup down bottom, who also had a fantastic game. Uh, they were really trying to get physical with him, but Gallup is such a physical guy. Um, they were throwing flags. It was like a holding or like a use of hands penalty against Gallup or something like that. Um, but yeah, Gallup, Gallup got us inside the 50 this time. And his angry run style that I can appreciate so much. Now, at this point, um, I put this on deck because if you look at the route combinations, they're they're built to get rid of the ball quickly. And I'm not a I don't mind not giving Cam Fleming help right here. I don't mind not not helping him because on because on the other plays he did get he did get some help. I don't mind not helping him here because the the routes were designed to get rid of the ball quickly. Dak just couldn't get the ball out quick enough. If you look at Jason, if Dak if Dak leads this thing inside a little bit, uh, that's seven. Um, there's a dump off here. There's a dump off to Zeke as well. But um, Dak kind of got hit with the with the uh, pressure there. And I don't expect him to make this superhero throw here um, because you know this guy could could kind of drift back in and make that. Um, but yeah, that's where this uh, that's where this drive ends here, and that's unfortunate because we were so close. Even though the drive ended, I think Brett, ha Brett Maher made this field goal. I think this was the one that he made, uh, according to the celebrations and the referee going. Good. Randall Cobb getting some here. We're going to cross the 50 with him. Good play. Uh, caught it before the 50. Got a little yak on the back end. And we got a Michael Gallup touchdown up top. Let's take a look at that. Like I said, we're not going to break it down technically, but um, you know, I just do want to look at it. Uh, for the fun of it and pardon the buffering or whatever like I said I'm not at the compound I'm out of town with with some bad Wi-Fi here but I want to hold it down for y'all 
Um, and that's how this drive drive ends. This drive ends with Michael Gallup being a beast. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. I think for the rest of the way, except one time, we're going to end these in touchdowns. I think one other time it was ended, ended in an interception. Say that five times fast. Ended in an interception. Damn. Um, Zeke is getting some receiving yards like people wanted. Get inside the 50. Get inside the five. Hand the ball off to Zeke. Touchdown, player. Touchdown, touchdown. Like, this offense wasn't bad all day. You know what I mean? Like, this offense had a lot of bright spots, especially at the end. Once we got to the to the second half, and I don't even think it was much so about offensive adjustments, right? Because we were moving the ball in the first half. We just gave the ball back to them, you know? If we don't turn the ball over, imagine how effective as an offense can be. Um, now, that's why I don't want to get into the opinions of the, of the, of the uh, people that's on the Internet because they'll have you thinking that the offense ain't great. I don't see big problems here. The only big problem is Cam Fleming, and I think Tyron Smith come back this week. Um, the big problem is, you know, besides the Tyron Smith injury, we don't have talent issues. Uh, we just have small fixes. You know what I mean? Like, like, like a like a big fix would be, oh, we need a whole new right tackle. You know what I mean? Like that'll be a team's big fix for a, for a, for a big problem. Our fix would be, hey man, we just got to stop fumbling or catch the ball the first time or stop throwing the ball to the other team we ain't got big problems uh this didn't get inside the 50 this was just a flat out interception but um like i said man i don't want to blame the refs i never want to be in a situation blame refs because if you blame the referees for a loss uh that means you're blaming it on a handful of plays i don't want to blame anything on a handful of plays man because we execute if we if we score more in the first half then we up by like 15 or or, or or like 17 or so if we score all the times that we were supposed to score in the first half this play wouldn't even matter but since we're behind it matters you know this is us uh advancing into the 50 amari cooper beating the hell out of yari alexander again hey man if we ever got to play a green bay again which i think we will boy i hope we pick on yari alexander again just like we did today yeah, this is the last time, the last set of plays or whatever. Dak scrambled uh, through the ball one time. We got inside the 50. Uh, Brett Maher actually made this field goal, but we got a false start by Xavier Suofilo right there. Um, yeah, right there. We got the false start by Xavier Suofilo. So this Brett Maher completion or make didn't matter. But, boy, we moved that thing back five yards. You would think we moved that thing you, 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 boy, you would think Brett kicked that thing from Houston, even though we moved it back only five yards. But, uh, hey, man, wide right Maher, and that's just the motion, man. That's just what we deal with. So, like I said, man, you know, it, you know, people hit me up all the time, say, Vice, talk me off the ledge, man. Well, the only ledge I can talk you off of is, hey, man, it ain't like we got big problems to fix. It ain't like we got to go out and, you know, uh, you know, do this or do that or do that, man. We just got to play the way we supposed to be playing and we'll be fine, man. If we execute on offense and people want to talk about the Cowboy defense, if we don't turn the ball over so much and put them on the field so much, then our defense will probably play better if they play less possessions, if that makes sense. Um, Hey, Aaron Jones wouldn't be able to run the ball on you 400 damn times if they're not playing from ahead. You see what I'm saying? So if we play better, the whole the whole entire game changes. I'm not making excuses because we lost. We got whooped. But uh, this is simply what I saw. All right? Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Uh, like I said, this ain't going to sound like this forever. This is just me impromptu. Uh, last minute decision to kind of do film away from location, away from the compound, from the headquarters. But I appreciate y'all for watching anyway. Thank you for your patience. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wolski. Everything else is free. Salute. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com.
Some people pay two hundred plus dollars a month. I paid one twenty a year, or you can go fifteen a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get twenty five hundred HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is this multi screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time that you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that's subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.